Hey everybody, Sean here with Detectifiles Newscast. Ever since the Oculus Rift became a thing, I and pretty much every other gamer have been obsessed with virtual reality and what the future may hold. Well, a new company is looking to bring VR to the masses by playing fun games in real space using motion tracking sensors. The company Zero Latency has created a system for the Oculus Rift that plays games in real space in real time without controllers and without wires. By making an exact replica of a room in virtual reality, players can roam without fear of running into things. They're currently developing a zombie game that can be played solo or with a partner. If they reach funding of $60,000, they can bump that up to four players. I see so much potential here. Bring it to the bar and people can have avatars to look any way that they want. Bring it to the club and you can dance with Twi'leks. Bring it to a lonely rich person's home and fill their rooms with virtual people. What you do with those virtual people is completely up to you. The operation is based out of Melbourne, Australia, and if this proves successful, we could see setups like this move to other cities and other countries. Fitbit and other activity trackers have become extremely popular in the past year, and with so many different devices, you can track just about anything. How fast is your heart rate? How many steps are you taking in a day? How fast are you running? How ashamed should you be of yourself for not working out? In comes Whistle, a brand new activity tracker for your dog. Whistle is a small little pendant that clips onto your dog's collar and tracks his daily activities. The pendant connects to your phone on an app via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and the newest version, now available for pre-order, has built-in GPS that can ping your dog's location anywhere at any time. Using the application, you can do things like set goals for your dog, track your dog's medications, and log your dog's diet. You can compare your dog's health regimen to others of the same breed, and you can upload pictures to Facebook and Twitter using the app, which is pretty cool, although not cat pictures cool. Right now, Whistle GPS is on sale for pre-order at $50 until Wednesday, May 28th. After that, it's going to bump up to $129. Aerofax first debuted its hoverbike in 2012. And in case you missed it, it's basically like two gigantic fans with a seat between them. And it's awesome. Aerofax has officially announced the impending commercial version of their prototype called the Aero X. The Aero X concept art looks pretty slick and can hold up to two people so long as they don't exceed 300 pounds. The bike hovers 12 feet off of the ground and kind of reminds me of a jetpack that they tried to build on Mythbusters using two gigantic fans. Except it works. Aero X plans to be doing test flights for the final version in 2016 and will release the bike in 2017 at a price tag of $85,000. So you might not see them around too much, but that's okay, because they're still fracking awesome. IBM has discovered a new type of plastic that is stronger than bone, self-healing, and 100% recyclable. One thing that I didn't know before I read this extreme tech article is that most plastics are completely unrecyclable. Thermoset plastics, the same plastics that are used in pretty much all modern day electronics, can't be melted back down, they can't be turned into anything else. Basically at best, you can take a hammer to them, turn them into a powder, and use them as filler material. The material was discovered like so many things that we now use today. By accident. Jeanette Garcia had a material inside one of her flasks that accidentally hardened. When she went back to it, she couldn't remove it without smashing the flask. And even after that, she still couldn't break apart the new polymer. Good job, inattentive scientists. This new polymer could transform industries, from phones to cars, even to airplanes. The Gemini Planet Imager just went live recently, and what did it come back with? An actual image of a planet 62 light years away. The Gemini Planet Imager is a ground-based instrument at the Gemini South Telescope in Chile. It's been a decade in the making, and clearly it was worth it. The photograph was taken at an exposure of just 60 seconds, which is awesome because most other systems would take an hour to get the same exposure. This is way better than the old method of finding planets, which was basically stare at a star and then hope to dear God that a planet would move in front of it, reducing the amount of light that would reach Earth. And this only showed potential for a planet. The planets detectable by the Gemini Planet Imager have to be pretty close to their sun and about the size of Jupiter. So we're not going to be detecting any Earth-like habitable planets anytime soon with it. 
However, that is quite alright with me because we have images of planets from 62 light years away. That is it for the Detective Files newscast. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share. This video was made with the help of these lovely people. As well, you can find us all over the net. Twitter, at Technophiles Pod. Facebook, facebook.com slash Technophiles Podcast. You can also find us at our website, technophilespodcast.com. You can also now find our best songs from the podcast on technophilespodcast.bandcamp.com. If you want to keep learning about the coolest stuff in tech with us, you can subscribe at youtube.com slash technophilespod. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh god! Oh god! It hurts! Alright, come here, Fido! Come here, boy! Alright, I need you to finish up this mile for me. Okay? I, I ran... Okay, I didn't really run. I need you to run a mile for me, okay, boy? Go! Go! Oh, God. It hurts.